This already looks fucking gonna. This is gonna be wild, bro. Look at him. This motherfucker will literally stab you in the face. Yo, what's good, team? All right. Today, we're gonna do a video. Army recruitment ads, China versus Russia versus the USA. This is kind of controversial. The reason I wanted to do a review on this so quickly is because it seemed like it was very negative. A lot of soldiers, uh, Marines, like everybody from all different branches were like, hey, tell me what you think about this. It makes me not want to be part of this military anymore. And that was a big red flag for me. It's concerning. And so I'm going to see why this is. I have not seen this. I've seen like the covers and it makes me a little nervous when I see the US ones because I know... I know China and Russia are about to go hard as fuck. The U United States as a whole is changing. And I definitely have a feeling I know where this is going to end up going. I am a little bit nervous. And I hope the army didn't fuck us over. Because remember, this is not... This is not a feel good, feel free type of thing. This is the military. This is a different environment. In no way, shape, or form is this peaceful. Okay? It shouldn't be peaceful at all. It should be fucking hard and rugged. The entire way. And like y'all know, I'll never lie to any of you. We're going to be honest the entire time. Um, and yeah. Some exciting news for all of you who do tune into the YouTube channel. I'm currently looking for an editor. This is so I can provide more content for all of you. And I'll spend all of my time editing the videos and, you know, have it be on, you know, once a week. I would like to post two to three times a week um, to provide more content for all of you that you do enjoy. But that requires an editor. So in the description and right here, there's going to be an email. In this email, if you would like to be an editor and possibly work with me, you will need to send the following information, a portfolio showcasing what type of editing work you've done in the past, your editing rates per video and what you might charge hourly, what geographical location, meaning the state that you currently live in, and your availability to work and communicate with the rest of my team and myself. So if you're interested, once again, go ahead and send that information to this email. No matter how crazy your experience is, big or small, or if you're just good at what you do, go ahead and send it. I'm all about picking the right person for this job, not the fucking best editor in the entire world, okay? Okay, here we fucking go. I was also told that I may have to ask for forgiveness in the end if I freak out too much. But, so it's not a good sign for me, but we'll fucking see what happens. So we're gonna see China and Russia's first, then we're gonna see the United States Army's uh, recruitment ad. All right. Hey, those uniforms are clean, bro. I don't know what they're saying, but I do feel like motivation right now. Hey, ooh. Very sophisticated. This, uh, this looks hard already. This looks really good. Because, you know, recruitment ads should be all about strength, leadership, power. Because not only is this for your own country, but it's to show other countries what you're capable of. And not to basically fuck with you, because we got the boys and the girls, you know what I'm saying? They said we're going to rock it the fuck out you, boy. See, this is that power part right here, bro. Rockets and fucking destruction, bro. Hella birds, tanks. Oh, they in the shit, baby! <laughs> Navy SEALs. <laughs> this is hard. Ooh, see, I like that. That's that leadership part I'm talking about. It's already, like, in the beginning, there was hella discipline. You know, the nice fucking uniforms in the ranks. Structure. Now he's like, hey, let's fuck these bitches up, baby. For China. Let's go. So, okay, I like China's ad so far. It's good. It's not bad at all. Very broad. Very broad. That's for everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, it was mainly, like, a lot of dudes, but I did see some females in there in, like, the science lab and... Checking out the space space uniforms or something like that, I think. So prideful, bro. Don't fuck with us. A strong president who's involved with all that shit. Really getting out. Man. I gotta respect the president who really gets out there and is just like with the troops fucking consistently. Ch China's with that shit, bro, because they're always ready to go to war. A lot of y'all don't know that. China's ready to fuck us up 24 7. Oh, look at them whips, baby. Damn. Damn. The dress right dress in this video is fucking insane. In the comments, I'm kind of halfway through this shit. 
please let me know which ad you think is going to be the best. And be honest, it's okay. Once again, I kind of forgot. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like the video, dislike it. And honestly, by the end of this video, from what I've been told, I'm probably going to lose some subscribers, but just know I love all of you, okay? Bro, they're hard. Look at their faces, bro. Like, they're really ready to get after it. Super, like, heartless faces, though. They're like, I'll kill everybody. Oh, God. I'm assuming that means, like, join the Chinese army. Okay. Now we're going into the Russian recruitment ad. This already looks crazy. This already looks fucking gonna- This is gonna be wild, bro. Look at him. This motherfucker will literally stab you in the face. He does not care. Look at him. That's heartless. That's what we need. I hope our video is like this. For everyone that wants to be left alone and peaceful, look at this dude and tell me you want to fight him. Look at this fucking crazy psycho dude and tell me you want to fight him. No, you need the other crazy psychopaths in the United States to come through and beat this dude's ass. Which brings me to my favorite quote of all time. The best defense against evil men are good men skilled at violence. Think about that shit. That's hard as fuck. Like, you can't just be like, how do you fight evil? With friendship and happiness. No. Hey, you're gonna die. Dude, he's so chill. He's like, I was on the street and then these dudes were laughing at me. And my girl, and I was pissed. So I literally went and killed all of them and decided I would be great in the military. Dude, look at this guy. Whoo! You and the boys getting up early in the morning ready to fucking get after it, bro? It's like, oh, yeah, let me put my fucking shit on, baby. Place up them boots. Uh, green, blue berets is, uh, Spetsnaz or like, uh, fucking, I thought it was like part of an intel community or like, uh, fucking, Airborne? Para? For Russia? I'm not sure. It's something like that. So, but okay. Let's keep going. So, definitely combat oriented. It's fucking combat oriented right off the bat. Look at him again, bro. This is some Sparta shit. They're just working out in the fucking dirt. That's hard. Bro, look at them. Sparta fucking fighting for food to survive in basic. Okay, I'm tired. This is the softest part of the video. It's weak. Oof. Okay. Oh, look at him! Dude! Fuck! Look at this guy! Look at his fucking face! He's like, I will literally kill my own mother to provide for my country. Dude, gah! This is like battle hardened, like head in the fucking game, ready to get after it. This is hard as fuck. I don't know what they're saying. Airborne? Bet? <laughs> Bro, hey, hey, for all of you or everyone else, you already know, Demo, you are not walking around for fucking. You're not walking around like that after fucking hitting. You're gonna get up, you're gonna be like, oh, fuck. Them hats gotta go. Those Mitches gotta go, bro. Oh my god, the goon mask, bro? Russia does not fuck around. Bullets, sending rounds, ready to fucking slay. I don't know what that says. That emblem's hard as fuck. I think this is the USA one. They told me it was like animated at some parts. Oh, fuck. Okay, so, so far, what do y'all think? China, pretty good, very proud and fucking unified and, like, a lot of fucking, you know, strong leadership involved throughout the video. Russia's just hard as fuck, ready to beat some ass, fucking get up early in the morning with the boys, jump out of planes and go to battle. And that's from the start with all of these. Uh, this one's kind of, like, pretty colors. Come on. Come on, army. Let's go, baby! The calling. Okay, we'll go. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation. Is this a fucking kid's book? Fuck! Dude, oh my god. Okay, for all of you soldiers who messaged me, I 100% seeing what you're saying. Um, already right off the bat. We're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Super early in the video. This is soft as hell, though. Patriot Missile Defense Systems. Is that still an MOS? I know a lot of people. I know, like, two people who are part of, like, Patriot Missiles, but I thought that was, like, a combined MOS California. now. Kelly! With a little girl raised by two moms. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me fucking canceled, bro. That's what this shit is.
Y'all trying to get me fucking... That's some bullshit. We're gonna just fucking hit the nail on the head right now. I don't care if you're... Whatever race you are, whatever sex you claim as, whatever gender you love or like, like, it doesn't matter to me, okay? If you're willing to put 100% effort to take care of your country and join the military, I am 100% here for it. I hope you join. I hope you fight for whatever you believe in and I welcome you with open arms, okay? I really fucking do. By two moms. How is that relevant or important to anything in the recruiting world? I get it, they're telling their story, but like... So we're gonna keep watching this video, but I definitely say there is a target audience here. And let me tell you something. In those past two recruitment videos, there was no target audience. It was, do you want to fight for your country, be proud of what you're fighting for, and get after it? If so, come this fucking way. This shit is fucking soft, and other countries are going to see about it, and I'm already embarrassed. Now let's continue this video before I start crying. Emma. Okay. Although I had a fairly typical childhood took ballet, played violin. I also marched for equality. Why? I see what you're trying to do, Army. You're trying to, you know, do this and be like, hey, it's okay. We welcome, you know, all people. But you've all, what you've done is you've shown that there's a divide when there's, it, it's not. When you come into the military, you are part of one unit, okay? You're part of one fucking element. Like I said, you know, love who you love. Like, that's, that's great to me. You know, be who you are. That's, that's what I'm doing here, bro. I'm just being myself. I'm ranting. Like I'm sorry. We're going to keep going. From an early age. Love each other. Yes, love each other. Respect everyone. Yes, when please respect old, everybody. One of my moms had an accident. I left her parents. But what does this have to do with fighting for your country, bro? Going to war and shooting motherfuckers in the face. Nothing. All the other recruitment videos did that, okay? Doctor said oh, shit, she might paralyzed. never walk again. But she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet. Eventually, standing at the altar to marry Does my she join the army? I'd be pretty hard. Such powerful role models. Can't walk. I finished high school at the top of my class. You see Davis. UC Davis. Let's go. I joined a sorority full of other strong women. Yeah, uh, like. I <laughs> It kind of sounds like this is all fucking about like woman empowerment and shit like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life. A sorority girl stereotype. Sorority sure, girl stereotype. I'd spent my life around inspiring women. But what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. Another was climbing Mount Everest. A, dude, dude, that would be so sick to climb Mount Everest. I would love to do that, but that shit's like hell of expensive. It's like twenty thousand dollars or some shit, right? And then there's like different base camps and summits. That has nothing to do with this video, so we're just gonna keep going. Own Sorry. <laughs> My own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength. What's this ad? Shatter some stereotypes. Okay. Along the way. Army baby, let's go. Let's fucking go. Army oh, that's her. That's cool. And I answered my calling. Okay, great. I answered my calling. Okay, great. That's awesome. Super happy for Emma. Welcome to the army. I hope you fucking get after it. You know, Patriot Missile and all that cool stuff. What the fuck did this video have to do with the army as a whole and welcoming everybody? What did this have to do with welcoming everybody in the United States Army and saying, let's fucking get after it. Let's go fight for your country and it's time to be proud of something. Which video do you guys think was the best? Uh, I have a feeling a lot of you who do subscribe and, and follow here are going to say Russia. Y'all are probably shooters. Uh, Russia's was super hard. But as a whole, I think China's was pretty fucking rad. Uh, it, it included, like, you know, everybody. It, it it showed a lot of discipline, structure, combat. I think that was that was the best one for sure. But wow. Army, I do not like this recruitment video. And it's once again, so no one gets it twisted. It is not about what race or whatever, like whatever sex you like. I don't give a fuck, bro. But you're making us look super fucking soft. This shit is about fighting and war, okay? Not let's be happy and join the military. Love all of you. Thanks for stopping by.